Hello everyone and welcome to my next reaction to Classic Who. So we now have a new companion that is possibly still enlisted by the Black Guardian to kill the Doctor. And I have to say that that is a fascinating way to bring a companion into this TARDIS team. And I'm very, very interested to see how all of this is going to play out. So without further ado, let's get into it. Terminus! Those who arrive survive! Not really. Where am I supposed to be going? Your function is to obey, not question. I may not have much time. I don't think they trust me, especially Tegan. The Rantor. <laughs> That's very on brand for Tegan. Operate the blue switches. Oh boy. Which switches will release the TARDIS to my control? Do only as I <clears throat> say. Quickly, close the round hole. Because messing with the TARDIS always goes well. Now what do I do? Who are you talking to? No one. I, I was singing. Not very well, I'm afraid. Why didn't you answer when I called? I'm very sorry, I didn't hear you. I'm not well, sure Tegan's going to buy all of this. What have you been doing? Have you touched anything? You look so sweet when you get angry. I'm being serious. What have you been doing? Nothing. I heard the way you were talking to the doctor. Being friendly hardly makes me unreliable. It's the way you were doing it. Oh, you would prefer I used your sledgehammer tactics. Oh! <laughs> <Let's start honest. laughs> Being charm, the way I use it, is to disagree agreeably. You were using it to deceive. Oh, you're so typical of your planet. Reduced to shouting if you can't have your own way. I am not! No? <laughs> you seem unable to grasp that there are other approaches. Don't patronize me, Turlow. I'm simply relating what I think. Turning an argument around is something you're very good at. Listen to yourself. You're so concrete in the way you think. I think you're dangerous. I think we should try and be friends. I'm going to tell the doctor about the round door. Oh! Do so, but you'd only make a fool of yourself. I have no reason to open that round door. Where are you going? To show you to your room. Oh! We're friends? Not yet. <laughs> Listen, Tegan may shout, but her instincts are really good right now. <laughs> Looks like a kid's room. Zadrix. Who? Oh! Doesn't matter. All this can go for a start. It's your room. Do what you like. Oh, well, let's keep some of Adric's stuff. Oh. Oh. He's got the mouth of a pig. The doctor? The rat. Tolo. He'll settle down. No, I mean... I think he's going to be up to fuckery. A lot of fuckery. Concentrate. You have ah! to do. Boom, Keith. <laughs> Adric did the calculation for me. My own figures aren't as good as you can see. I'll see if I can find his notes before Turlo destroys them. No. Oh. Rip it free. To me. You will be safe. I am ready to lift you away. <laughs> I would not trust that. I would not trust that at all. Hello. Remove the space time element. is on your ass, sir. What is that? Wait. Doctor! What is it? Quickly! What is it? We're in trouble. I'll explain later. 
course. Of course. No time to ever explain right in that instant. What is she working on? Well, nothing that could have caused this. The brute has jacked. Well, there's a safety cut out. It's just a mess. Dimensional instability. That's the danger. Nissa! Nissa, can you hear me? Back up, love. Yes! Stay well back. There's nothing you can do. What's that? I saw something just for a moment. The outside universe is breaking through. Okay. Oh! Oh! She was working on that. Rude. Look behind you, Nissa! No. Go through, Nissa. No. It's your only chance. But if she stays in the room, she'll die. Oh. Oh no. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. Nissa. Keep moving, Nissa. Stay ahead of it. If you don't, it will kill you. Oh, Nissa. That is so terrifying to me. An ominous door appears, and I have to go through it. <laughs> You know I want to just stay in the TARDIS. What's that? I don't know. Where does that door lead to? Another spacecraft. Look! <gasps> wow! Good throw. Where did the other spacecraft come from? TARDIS found it. There's a failsafe. An impending breakup it seeks out and locks onto the nearest spacecraft. You never mentioned it before? Huh. Well, it never worked before. Interesting. She's gone. Well, you did tell her to keep moving. Follow them. Why not? Seems we have no choice. We go on. Well, now everybody's moving. Great. They'll all get separated. It'll be a thing. Nissa. Nissa, love, it's the doctor. It's the doctor. Or somebody wearing his exact outfit. It's the doctor. <laughs> oh! Oh, my love. Oh, my love. Yes, sir. Doctor, where are we? I think it's some sort of a passenger van. Let's get back to the TARDIS. Oh, well, about that. <laughs> those, those helmets. Roomy. Yeah, slowly back away. At least it's a helmet big enough that's not going to mess up your hair. Kind of love that. We're lost, aren't we? So. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, so sorry, I, I didn't know it was private. That's all right. We're in the mood for company. Okay. Help me. Over there. Help me. That's Nissa. Uh, uh, is it? Look, 
kill them. We've enough problems. Be quiet. If you're not members of the crew, how did you get here? We have a ship of our own. Well, they're after the cargo too. Are you? Unarmed. Uh oh. That's our ship. He's running out on us. Is this your work? Hardly. Neither is that. Engines. Please help me. Hold on, Nissa. We must find something to leave the door open. Let's get out of here. Time for a Keith break. Oh, nope. Not time for a Keith break. I lied. Tom! I'm coming! Check on them if you're hearing help. You say me. you have a ship. And yes. There's arms I'm clawing out. It. I think not. They might need help. All decks stand by. All decks stand by. This is a special announcement from Terminus Incorporated. Mm. Uh oh. Follow me. I can't not be skeptical when I hear that word. Passengers with mobility should prepare to disembark. Anyone failing to disembark will be removed. Sterilization procedures will then follow. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh dear. I know where we are. Where? about them backtracking with the next episode is I'm gonna hear we're all going to die again because it was filled with drama and I loved it. Now we know, don't we? Now we know what it's all about. This is terminus where all the masses come to die. We're on a leper ship. We're all going to die. <laughs> Dramatic. Whatever you do, don't let them touch you. No! That will be mass slaughter. I thought they were going to attack us. Well, so didn't Tegan get grabbed? Feed them, so. No. So, that's a situation? Oh, it's those things walking over the grating. There must be another way out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This place is a death trap. Oh, you guys know I hate the small spaces. I'm gonna get anxiety watching this. Wait! There's a ladder! Yes, let's get out of this situation as quickly as possible. This way! My heart's racing. Hurry, Doctor. I want to get off this ship as soon as possible. In a moment. Can you see any more computer blocks? I'll look. What precisely are you looking for? Information about <gasps> Must be something here that lines just. Oh no, is she? Infected or. Love, are you okay? You okay? Just a little lightheaded? 
Love. Hold it. A lot of crouching and cowering in this story so far. The doctor still lives. You know the rewards for success. I have other rewards for your failure. Oh, oh geez. Come in. Keith will peck your eyeballs out. I'm supposed to be combat trained. I ran away. I'm sure she'll understand. Whatever you're planning, you can forget it. Because we're dead. We're breathing in the disease at this very moment. You decided to come back. Please. We need his help. This is right. This guy is sure they're disease? all going to die. My sister died of it. On Terminus? Oh. Yes. They supposedly offer a cure. But I've never met anyone who came back. And you didn't try and find out why. From whom? Oh. A commercial company runs Terminus. They don't care about anything apart from their profit. What do you make of this? Wow. The expanded chart of the universe. And all you heard about Terminus, was there ever any comment on its position? Well, it could be pure coincidence. But Terminus seems to be at the exact center of the known universe. Okay. Oh. I'm so unfit. Any luck? Who are you? Oh! No! Oh! The reading's still climbing. I must find out what's happening. Thor has just entered the Forbidden Zone. Oh, that's all we need. We must do something. I can't afford to send men out here. We must do something! This is my responsibility! To keep Terminus running! We can't just let him die! Vogard, we're all dying. Did Paul say anything before he entered the zone? He'll be back when he gets hungry. Who needs his hydro -mel? It seems like everyone is convinced that they're all going to die. It's looking grim. It's vast. Attention. Preparations for departure will begin with stage one sterilization. Unprotected personnel are advised to leave this liner immediately. Stage one sterilization is now commencing. We must get out of here. Yeah. No what? Back! What's the do with sterilizing? Oh. This is a layout of the ship. There are two ways back to where we think the TARDIS is. We must go in two parties. I must rest. We can't oh, come. Oh, Nessa. Please. All right, then, but only for a moment. What's the matter? I'm ill. Oh, I'll get help. Leak interference. There must be bad shielding on the engine somewhere. I feel... I'm going to burst. Come on. Oh, love. Oh, love. What's wrong? Oh, dear, what's wrong? You're contaminated. Yeah. Stage two sterilization is about to begin. All no, other please. personnel must leave oh, no, 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 immediately. No. Oh, there, help me. All lasers must comply oh. with the drones. All lasers oh, must yeah. comply with the drones. Oh Not no! Come on, Nessa. This one's in better condition than most. Not for much longer. Oh, no. Where are you taking me? I don't usually speak. I'm not one of the Lazars. Are you doctors? Baggage handlers. We just receive and pass on. But I have to know what's happening. You'll be taken to the gum. 
No one's ever come back from a meeting with him. Aha. Bitter sweet taste of life. Why do you wear armor? Radiation levels. Cut my thumb. Look. Hmm. Ow! Nessa! Wait, there's no escape, not for you. Oh! Oh boy. All right, Valga. Well, I guess we're going to see what happens to these people who never come back. But I wish it was under other circumstances. Can you hear me? One of the Vanir has entered the Forbidden Zone. If he has died, we must have his body back. Just taking it all in, you know? Okay. That's the way Pat Natale turned in on. Doctor! Doctor! Doctor, we're here! Doctor! Someone's calling. Look! What is it? Shades 2 sterilization. Come on! <laughs> oh, Nessa, hang on, love. I hope this guy at least tells the doctor where they took Nessa. Or as much as he knows, you know? Oh! Okay, maybe the doctor might find out on his own. <laughs> Couldn't have heard us. The anxiety I would feel even if have to in this situation. Away. Hey! Look at that! Tell me, the star charts on the liner, do you think they were accurate? I don't know, they were probably. Let it go! Now it's your turn. Only you I'm going to kill. You know, if that was three, that motherfucker would have been kicked in the head. <laughs> Well, this was certainly an interesting first two parts to this story. I feel like it has laid a lot of groundwork that is pretty interesting, pretty, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm really interested to see what they're going to do with these next two parts because I'm, uh, I'm genuinely curious how all of this is going to pan out, but let me get into it a little bit. All right, so first and foremost, to talk about what I talked about at the beginning of this reaction, let's talk about Turlo. He is, I, I have to say, an interesting companion to have in the mix. And I guess I'm sort of holding off judgments about his arc and all of that because I just don't entirely know how it's all going to play out. Um, and... I will say, if nothing else, it is very fascinating to have a companion who <laughs> is basically uh, sort of being used as the, uh, an agent or a pawn or however you want to phrase it of the Black Guardian to go and kill the doctor. But much like the last story, it's kind of a background storyline at the moment. You know, it's not really coming to the forefront just yet, and I wonder how long this is going to go on. Because, you know, the start of this story, I genuinely was like, oh, maybe we're gonna really get into it. We were spending a good amount of time in the TARDIS, um, and Turlo was up to fuckery, 
he was messing with things and all of that. And so I was like, okay, he might genuinely, um, this might be like a fully on the TARDIS type of story, which I would love. Um, not that I didn't like where, where we went with this. Well, I guess I didn't like parts of it, but we'll get to that. <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, I, 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 thought that that was a possibility that we were going to then solely focus on this but again we're we're starting a whole story we have a lot going on and now this you know um arc of turlo needing to kill the doctor and all of that is sort of you know going on the back burner yet again so this might you know continue on for quite a few stories um, and I think that that's really, really interesting. Um, I think there's probably going to be a sweet spot of how long they can keep this going on. Um, I loved the conversation, as weird as that is to say, between Turlo and Tegan in, in the beginning because there's a lot of animosity. And, you know, obviously they're not, <clears throat> you know, getting off on the best foot, so to speak, <laughs> in terms of their relationship. And also, you know, her instincts are, are pretty good when it comes to Turlo. So it, it's very interesting. I feel like in any other situation, I would be really intrigued to see them kind of stuck together in this story, literally stuck. I hate it. I, I, I don't love those scenes. I don't mean to be rude, but they just make me uncomfortable to my claustrophobia is really, you know, coming up to the surface watching that. But um, I do find it really interesting that, um, you know, they're kind of paired together for at least, you know, a bit of this story so far. And like I said, if there wasn't this sort of subplot of Turlo trying to kill the doctor, I would love the, these two companions who might be very, very different people, sort of um, needing to survive together and all of that. But I'm just a little bit, I don't know, I'm just a little bit nervous about where all of that's going to go. But anyway, um, for the rest of this story, I I'm, I'm fascinated. You know, there's something really daunting and yes, okay, it was dramatic. It was dramatic. Can we all agree that the, we're all going to die, it was, it was very, the drama, the drama. Um, but possibly with um, some good reason here, I have to say this idea of, um, you know, people kind of getting, you know, sort of shuttled away, so to speak, and never coming back and it is really terrifying. And to see Nyssa get, you know, feel ill and, you know, us as audience members are like, oh no, oh no, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. And then sort of just getting like shoved with all of them as well is, is quite um, terrifying to see that through her experience. Um, you know, and it, it makes you sort of feel for uh, her, obviously, because, well, we love Nyssa. But um, for all, you know, all of these other people uh, as well, you know, it, it was interesting that first um, where the door slightly opened with Tegan and the hands were sort of grabbing her, my first instinct was like, okay, all we kind of heard was like a help me, right? Or something like that. And then they're like trying to claw their way out. I mean, my genuine first instinct, and it probably would have gotten me into a lot of trouble to be fair, would, would be to possibly help. It, it just seemed like a dire situation and that they were kind of all like shoved in there and, and stuff. So um, I'm, I'm quite curious to see uh, where this story is going to go uh, in regards to all of that. I think they've laid down some very interesting groundwork and it, we'll just see if it kind of pays off with the next two parts. I feel like it might though. I'm, I'm quite um, 
I'm intrigued by a lot of this and uh, I'm excited to continue. Very interesting, very interesting first two parts. I'm excited to get into the next part, next two parts, sorry. And uh, I think that is about it. If you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.